Hey folks, welcome back to another video. You join me on a day that is getting more and more grey by the minute. I'm sure rain is incoming, but I'm trying to bang out a couple of videos while it's uh, dry. Boys just there out of shot, sheltering from the wind. I thought I'd talk through five niche bits of kit that I regularly take with me to work, climbing instructing, climbing guiding, that kind of stuff. They're not necessarily things you should run out and buy, but I thought it might be interesting. I've probably done videos on all of them except one, I think, uh, at some point, but this just a quick run through. First one, the Blue Ice Alpine Runner. I store it on my harness, sort of like a quick draw normally, uh, dangling around the back. Sometimes I spin it up, depends what mood I'm in. But I won't take this necessary climbing, but mountaineering, I do take it a lot. I can use it as a quick draw kind of thing, but actually what I use it for more, because it's just got a bit snug, uh, snarled up there, is to build belays from. I can clip to one piece of kit, I can clip to another piece of kit, I can do like a girth hitch master point style belay down there, and it's all really quick to do. And with mountaineering, scrambling kind of stuff, that is like the aim of the game. Without the carabiners, uh, this thing costs about £20. It's the 110 centimetre version. Uh, put simply, it is like a continuous loop of Dyneema with a, like a harder wearing sheath. So I do like it and I use it quite a lot. Next up, continuing the sort of mountaineering theme. Again, I'd only take this mountaineering. It's another super niche bit of kit for this use. You know, if you're in the Alps on glaciers and stuff like that, then I think the, the micro traction or something similar is a bit of a must have on your harness. It's gonna make life so much easier if things go wrong. Obviously there's other uses for it as well. But in a mountaineering in the UK sense, I'll sometimes use it for belaying, sometimes. There's a lot of care required with it. I've done a video on it before, as I say. There is a lot of care required for it. So not that it's, you need some set of super skills, but it's not something that as a relative novice, if you're watching this, you should go out and buy because it, there's a lot of judgment involved and it's just, it's not a necessity. The reason I like it is because it is so smooth to use, quick to load up obviously, but then so smooth to use and it's just a joy to belay someone up with it for my elbows as well. My elbows, very important to me as a climber. Uh, somebody trains a lot for climbing as well quite a lot of force on my elbows and I do struggle with tweaky elbows and it can be really flipping annoying sometimes so that thing that costs about 60 pounds uh, is a godsend in some very niche circumstances again on the theme of elbows the Kong GG right, about eight pounds I think that costs Amazon Decathlon probably some other places as well absolute bargain the reason I carry this one, it's purely for my elbows, right? You set it up in guide mode, you need another carabiner as well, but you put your ropes in, same as any other guide plate, really, with a few you know, caveats, because read the instructions for all these things. And it's just so smooth to use. It's niche though, because really, it's very good for belaying a second up or two in guide mode. It, you can use it to abseil, uh, it works, it's okay. I do know that occasionally some people use it for lead belaying, but it's not really for that, so that's uh, not something I ever used it for. So it does mean you'll end up carrying two devices, so it is extra weight, plus probably a carabiner you're carrying it on, I, I guess, um, but it is super light. For eight pounds, worth every penny, and in my opinion, and my elbow's opinion, worth every gram on the back of my harness. Prusiks aren't niche, but posh ones are, expensive ones are. This is a sterling hollow block, bit of a one trick pony. It is super nice to use though. It's really grippy and like reliably grippy. Some Prusiks you'll put a few wraps on, try it and they slip, you'll put more wraps on. Then you next day you're using a different rope and it changes. This thing, a few wraps and you're done. I really like it. It's wearing okay actually, considering its construction. Again, done video on it of course. Um, like $25 I think ridiculous price for a bit of string really isn't it but i like it a lot of times you're spending a lot of money it is you know it's a hobby and work for me uh, so i'm happy to spend within reason some money on these things i don't drink i don't smoke i've got kids so I may as well spend it on climbing kit um i think i bought all of those my old um my own money as well actually i didn't not that that was given to me um by beyond hope who uh, supplied blue eye stuff in the uk petzl recently sent me this Petzl Sitter harness. 
harness isn't niche. Clearly, you need a harness, don't you, for climbing and mountaineering. But actually, I do think this is niche. I'm going to do a full review on it soon, comparing it to some other bits and pieces. It's light, like, I think 275 grams for this medium. Flipping expensive, though. It's like the retail is about £145. Shop around, you get them cheaper. But I'll stick by the fact I think this is really actually pretty niche. It's light. It's sort of thin and skinny, so it won't last as long as a chunkier harness. It's actually, if you're hanging around in it, not as comfy as some much cheaper, chunkier harnesses. It's not to say it's uncomfortable, because it isn't. The shape of it and stuff is really good. I do find myself using this loads, though. Not every work day, but certainly for some things. It packs up really small. It comes with a little bag, and I'm not really a fan of those little bags, because for me, I just get, they get lost and stuff. But if I sort of just wrap it up, it's, and I'm doing obviously a very bad job of this, but it's not far off being like a Coke can size once you've wrapped it up and put in a bag or maybe a can of Monster, they do drink Monster. I'm more of a Red Bull person myself, or actually, if I'm telling the truth, the 45p fake Red Bull from Lidl. Um, it's one of those things like that you see like pros wearing, like your Megosis, people like that, and it looks really Gucci. It's like Petzl Orange. It's expensive, so it must be good. It's light, so it must be good. And it is really good, but it is niche. It's not doing anything that your 50 pound harness won't. Um, harnesses are really person specific though in terms of comfort and that, as a leaf nearly hits me in the face. Uh, so try them on whenever you're buying a harness, but I am gonna do a full video on that one in the not too distant future. Five niche bits of kit. If you carry any niche kit, I'd be interested to know. Um, put them in the comments below as always. As always though, uh, all the support, massively appreciated. Click the like button, smash the subscribe button, follow us on Insta, Facebook, use the Buy Me A Coffee link to support the channel, all the things I say every time and I'm gonna keep saying them. Massive thanks for watching. More videos coming up very soon.